What's up? I just got up, slammed my protein shake for the morning, and I've been trying to get a lot more protein in lately, like around 200 grams of protein. So lately, I've been just trying to get up a lot earlier, just so I can like get more protein in throughout the day. But yeah, pretty much, I just woke up right away, grabbed a glass, filled it with some water, put one scoop of protein in there. It tastes pretty good, so it's and it's really easy to get down, and it's easily digestible, so. It's not gonna like, you know, I don't know. It's not gonna fill me up or anything like that. So I'll definitely be able to eat again, uh, like right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat breakfast. Because I'm so freaking full and I need to like be digested uh, in less than an hour, uh, I'm gonna go for a walk just to help my digestion a little bit. And it's a really beautiful morning right now, so we're gonna go for a walk. Probably not gonna vlog it, but yeah. We're back at EOS. We're starting with some abs and calves, and then we're gonna do some chest. I make a thing and I say chest a low volume one of eight is one of eight. From the weekend he's pops to let him go.
protect my aging. All right, you guys, so push workouts over and I surprised myself today on the barbell incline because it's a little bit bright, sorry, fix it. Um, yeah, but I surprised myself a little on um, barbell incline. I think I hit like nine or 10 for 225. So that as a starting point for me is gonna be really good because um, just starting this little volume program, you really need to focus on um, progressive overloading because otherwise, you know, you could do your you could do your low volume stuff, but um, really, really, what's so nice about low volume is that you know you're not super fatigued for all your like the rest of your movements, um, so you're able to push a lot. Like you're just you're able to push a lot more just because you have more energy. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'm able to do like 245 for 10 or something like that. Today you guys saw me do triceps on push day, which is normally what everybody does. Normally everybody does chest tries, back buys, but um, after today, I was thinking that, I don't know, just cause I'm doing so much pressing and I've been doing like chest tries, back buys for like pretty long time like probably like a year and a half maybe two years so I'm thinking about switching it from thinking about doing chest and buys and then back and tries just to change it up a little bit and um, I don't know because I really I really want to prioritize my arms this program so um, going into it to where like going into going into like my biceps on like today's chest day which we didn't do um, but next time we're gonna do it but my biceps are gonna be completely fresh, so I'll be able to, you know, like really push like heavy weights and progressive overload, like I was saying earlier. That's kind of like the main thing about this is try and get a lot stronger in a hypertrophy range. And then, you know, after these eight weeks are over, or, you know, however many weeks we do this, eight to 10 weeks, um, then I'll probably switch back to like a regular volume training, like three to four sets, except I'll take all the strength I've gotten from the low volume, right? And I'll be able to do it for hopefully, you know, two or three of those sets at a significantly heavier weight than I would have been doing if I had never progressive overloaded on low volume, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna, I gotta start doing, um, we're gonna be doing abs and calves. Abs and calves before every workout, so. I didn't really have any carbs today. Only carbs I had were like, yeah, I literally didn't have really any carbs today, which I kind of screwed up on my part. I should have done my protein shake and eggs, and I, what I should have done is had a bunch of fruit with it. Um, or like even dextrose powder, or just like something to get like some carbs in before the workout. I still was super full and had a great like pump and. I still feel really full from after the workout, but I think I could have used a little bit more carbs in there just because I, I know it would have made me look. I, just for the video, just for video purposes, I know I would have made my pump this slightly better, but yeah. I'm already at, what, like almost 50 grams of protein today, so now we're gonna go home, eat a little bit more protein, hopefully get to around, you know, 70, 80. It should be pretty easy if I eat a couple yogurts and it'll be 12 o'clock only, and I'll only have to get in like 100 more grams of protein. So yeah, and we got steaks at home, we got chicken at home, so we're looking pretty set up. That's kind of the benefit of like starting, starting your day like pretty early, and just like getting in that protein quick, because then you don't have to like, I don't know, I already got like a quarter of the work done, and I've already worked out and everything, so. Now I just have to focus on eating, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys what we make when we get home. Also, if you guys want um, the hoodie I was wearing today, that is gonna be on Young LA's next drop. Um, if you don't know, I'm sponsored by Young LA, but uh, it's a clothing company. But yeah, so if you guys wanna use my code and pick up some stuff, 
Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, I love you guys forever, even if you don't use it. So this is the hoodie I was wearing at the gym. I like gray. Gray just looks nice. They got black too. It's just real simple. It's just that that's the logo. Real simple hoodie. Yeah, and they also have um, what we got here? matching sweatpants to go with it. They're cuffed too, so if you like the cuffed look. Um, these are pretty sweet as well. But yeah, code Gabe if you guys want a discount on that. And it also helps, it helps to support me and the channel. Dude, since I've been bulking, like, there's very, like, select shots. I feel like that, like, look really good. Like, in the gym, I'm super full and I look lean. But, like, then just, like, from day to day or, like, even, even right as I lose my pump, bro, I, like, I don't know. 10 more pounds, 10 more pounds, man. I'm gonna start doing some walking cardio though once I get a little bit more into the 185s just so I don't like lose a bunch of water weight and like it fucks with my head and then I end up eating like shit and then it kind of fucks me over a little bit. But um, yeah, so I think once I gain like five more pounds, I'm gonna start with daily cardio. Um, what I like to do is like a nine to 12 incline on the treadmill and I'll walk for like 15 minutes um, I'll walk for like 15 minutes post-workout. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more. And um, yeah, comment down below what, what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys next video.